might wonder what the LHC and CERN have to do with the 2011 Skiing World Cup. Today's news is not about skiing or world champions. It's about a different kind of champion, the champion of science, the LHC machine. Because it is here in the Alpine village at the feet of the Mont Blanc, Chamonix, that the annual planning workshop of the LHC machine is held. Well, I think Chamonix is the occasion where everybody gets together and where the different groups uh, touch base and interconnect and discuss things. And when you take into consideration for the the results from one group, the results from the other group, you reach a conclusion. And the conclusions, uh, I think, are extremely important for a successful running of the LHC, uh, not only for the next year or the next but one year, but for many, many years to come. Because Chamonix is not looking back. Chamonix is looking back as a base and then going forward and present the planning for the next year. We organized the first meeting in 1991, and it was an incredible success because we had not only the accelerator people, but we also had the, the detector people, the experimenters, some of the management, and it was a very, very uh, great success because at the end of the meeting, everybody knew exactly what we were doing and we're all pulling in the same direction. So 2011 is no exception and after one year of successful operation, the entire LHC Dream Team is gathered here for one week to discuss beam energy, luminosity and all the parameters of the LHC machine performance to make the most of next physics run. Mike, what are the major decisions that have to be taken here in Chamonix and that are crucial for the next run of the LHC? Well, one, the beam energy. Yes. Okay, we've still got the problem with the uh, interconnect, the splices in the interconnects, of course. Yes. And there's a kind of risk um, balance that has to be taken. If we move up in energy, we're taking a bit more of a risk. We've got to weigh that against the consequences of there being another incident. Why do you need a long shutdown? Well, the, the, the shutdown is necessary because there is a uh, consolidation program on the connections, the interconnections, the spliced connections between the main magnets in the LHC machine. Um, after the incident in September 2008, uh, it was discovered, it was found that this was due to uh, problems with these connections, which limit the maximum current you can put through the, the, the magnet system, which in turn limits the maximum energy. Now this has been limited to three and a half TeV per beam. And in, in order to go to the seven TeV per beam you need, you essentially need to open all these interconnections and to clamp them to make sure that they are they are correct they are correctly joined together fitted together. How many there are? And this there this means opening all the interconnections between the magnets, and the, in a total there are some twenty seven thousand of these connections to. Uh, that will to take how long? Well, if if you imagine it's going to take you a year to fifteen months, it's about one every five minutes. Amazing. So you have several teams of people going around the machine in a train, opening the connections, and then repairing and then closing again. So it goes around the machine like a train. I will try to explain what we discussed during the session uh, about beam energy for 2011-2012. Go faster with the LHC feeling, with the intensity, intensity step, up, step increase, and uh, with the rollback to uh, last year's sale of Unitza. And just some of the points that came out for me from the talks about should we start in December 2011 or should we start in December 2012. I'm going to walk you through what we did from basically end of July to end of October for from basically from 25 bunches to the bunch trains. So the main conclusions of the 2011 Chamonix workshops are first, extend the physics run into 2012, that is LHC will continue taking data not only in 2011 but also 2012 before the long shutdown that will only start in December 2012. and. The answer to the crucial question, to increase or not to increase the energy is not to increase the energy, to stay at 3.5 tera electron volt for 2011, but to increase the luminosity. The next run will be a long run, will be 2011 and 2012. And uh, the idea that uh, we have just to maximize the physics output, because by the end of 2012, we have a very ambitious goal, uh, which is either to discover the X or just to rule it out.